The eyes to the right, 327. The nose to the left, 300. So the eyes have it. The eyes have it. Unlock. The original motion by the Prime Minister sought ratification for the UK's agreement with the European Council to extend Article 50 until the 12th of April or 22nd of May if her deal was approved. But an amendment tabled by Sir Oliver Letwen and Dominic Grieve sought to allow MPs to cast indicative votes on all the options available in the Brexit process at this stage, something which will now take place tomorrow. Earlier in the day, Theresa May had told the House of Commons there was still not enough support for a third meaningful vote. In a statement to Parliament, the Prime Minister said, as things stand, the default situation is to leave without a deal on the 12th of April. This came as the European Union published its final notices for preparations for a no-deal Brexit, suggesting this is now the most likely scenario. Theresa May said the government would be opposing the amendments laid by Letwin and Grieve. But the government lost the vote by 27 votes, with three ministers resigning in the process. We don't know at this stage what options will be put to MPs to vote on. We also don't know whether the party whips will be out or whether a free vote will be allowed by parties. And we don't know whether Theresa May will respect the result of the indicative votes or whether she'll just bring back the same deal to Parliament for a third meaningful vote. In Gibraltar, people go about their daily lives waiting to see what fresh new drama is brought about by the House of Commons. In the meantime, it appears as though the Brexit saga continues to deliver more questions than answers.